It's absolutely baffling that there are so many people that can't detect sarcasm, can't take a joke, and most importantly, can't watch till the end of a video. And today, today, I've got a whole bunch of all of those. And so, on April 1st, I posted a video that was uh, related to how to get Magirna in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may not have, but besides the point, that video was meant as a complete troll video, just like everybody else who always uploads some kind of ridiculous, crazy, like, you know, how to get how to get to Argentina in Pokemon Platinum, I don't know, like, there's people have made these kinds of videos in the past where they're sort of misleading in a way, but it's like, I guess, I, I guess in the YouTube community, like, just in general, it's, I, I guess, what most people consider regularly as a clickbait video, I, I suppose they're just, like, according to regular standards, acceptable on April 1st, I don't really, I really don't know, but, regardless, I made that video just for fun, because I thought everyone else was gonna do it today, and I figured I may as well hop on that, because why not, I figured I've never done really like an April Fool's type of video before. Didn't do one last year, so I figured, well, I'll do one this year, have a little fun with it. It only took me like 25 minutes, 30 minutes to make the video, so I figured it was whatever. Now, here's what the funny part is. Obviously, if you follow along with regular Pokemon news and all that, you would know, number one, Magirna has just been recently announced, so obviously it is not like a old Pokemon, it wouldn't be in any older games. If it's just announced, just first introduced, that means that it's going to be coming up in a future Pokemon game, not going to be in a, a past one, you know, whatever. So, let's go on to the video that I made, right? And I even started off by saying, oh, Sun and Moon being Today, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to boot up your copy of Oras or whatever whatever it is you, you're doing, uh, maybe try Crystal as well, because why not? You're gonna wanna go- I wanna know, honestly, how many people heard that part, or was like- Did that just kinda go in, like, one ear and straight out the other? Like, hold on, let's just re-listen to that real quick. Did I say that clear enough? Boot up your copy of Oras, or whatever whatever it is you, you're doing, uh, maybe try Crystal as well, cause why not? I literally just said maybe try Crystal as well, so why not? Okay, but- oh, that's not that giveaway yet. Nope. You're gonna need two Pokemon in order to do this. The first Pokemon that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to get a Volcanion. And it's not even released yet. In them, I would really suggest using a Repel, but you're gonna wanna have one right on that spot where I just activated it, so make sure you don't have one active. Activate one before you- I- I'm- I- am i am gonna be honest, I threw that Repel on because I was tired of running into wild Pokemon, and also I Eon fluted to that- spot i didn't take my bike for it to be in the proper placement you'll see what i mean in a second you're gonna want to pull up to the front of the contest hall here and you're gonna get off your bike and go stand right next to this old man who's standing in the front of the building you're gonna want to go right next to him and save right away you're gonna want to also face uh, forwards like i am and save right away from there and once your game is done saving you're gonna want to just take one step left and a few steps forward and head right inside the contest why couldn't you just now say go right inside that you activated your repel right when i did it's gonna wear off right as the camera turns right here that so happened by complete no accident also one, that wasn't so apparent like enough up the for deoxys Make sure you have a working touch screen because this only works if you have the ability to tap Deoxys. You want to tap it so it does that little like Whoa! animation and Yeah. Yeah, that's how you that's how you activate an Easter egg. <laughs> By doing the boy <laughs> God damn it, dude. So not only was I using like just different voices in text cure vo uh, vocal cues to say like sort of like sort of in a joking manner like to sort of show I'm not serious not only that but I make people go to the top of sky pillar and it's also supposed to be only done during the the uh, Delta Emerald or El Em Delta episode. Why did I just try to say Delta Emerald? Um, this is actually also a completely different time, place, and date when this is recorded. This is footage from like my buddy Hayden Iravolzi, his Let's Play, like literally back months ago when the like two years ago almost when the game came out. Holy shit, it's been a while. Well, it's all not two years exactly, but but still, still. So it's like completely, completely different footage. But anyway, the best part. Okay, the best part. Now. I just want to honestly say here, I, re I really want to honestly know here, okay, if if at some point, because they're, they're, believe me, there was quite a few, at this point, if you have made it to this point in the video, and out of the numerous amounts of cues and little hints that I gave out, amount of hints that I gave throughout the entirety of this video, I am 
I, I'm shocked that there's some people that st still got to it at this point. But it's just like, okay, so if you get it to this point in the video, and you still haven't gotten that it's a joke, especially after seeing that it's published on April 1st, if, if this wasn't a dead giveaway, I honestly do not know what was. Oh, and you know what to make matters worse is? You know how people say, always make sure you leave a detailed description so people know what the video is about. I mean, I mean, I mean, I really don't know what the purpose of a description is anymore. And not only that, I even put a disclaimer in the end of the video! But in all seriousness, everyone, I'm sorry if some people were misled by this video. This is obviously an April Fool's joke. I, I, I'm sure some of you figured that out a while ago. I didn't Apparently not! It too, Apparently like, not! Too legitimately sneaky. I, I really, I really hope by like a minute and people realize this is an April Fool's. I, fe I feel like a lot of people should already know by seeing this video. When God damn, was I wrong. Fool's joke, but if you watched, looking to get a Magirna. Well, uh, I'll have a tutorial out for that in about uh, eight months from now. So, Sun uh, Moon yeah, comes out, baby. Awesome. Subscribe to the channel. Be bringing your Master Ball with you. Uh, and make sure, make sure that you don't mess this one up, dudes. Don't mess this up by any means. As you can see here, Hayden actually manages to- You can Mariana. see Rayquaza moving in the background! That's, that's awesome that it even has a spot in the Pokedex, man. man Dude, I- I completely saw this coming from a mile away. I even scratched out Rayquaza's name and just wrote in Magirna with my horrible handwriting. Intentionally! I didn't even try and Photoshop that! I just did that because it was meant as a joke! Somehow, some people still thought I was trying to troll. I'm just gonna say, there's a difference between a troll and a clear joke that is meant in sort of more parody fashion. Cause this is like a parody of all those types of videos. And one that I like the most memorable one that I know of, and it actually uh shout outs to Munching Orange, because I know this is one of the original ones I saw back in the day, where he did the how to get to naval rock, I believe, in Pokemon Emerald. This is sort of like those type of videos is where this one was inspired from. So you know, in common parody fashion, that's what this was. I mean, I can understand why people dislike the video. Dude, I don't even care about any of this. Like, this is just funny to me. I really, that doesn't bother me. But it's just funny because of all the comments I've gotten on this video, 90% of them, people think I was actually trying to troll people. Like, I was actually trying to fool them. I was trolling people, but I wasn't trying to fool them. I was making it very clear it was a joke. But dude... I guarantee you by the time that I'm done reading some through some of these comments, there's gonna be another one that I'll have to read. Like, dude, just just look at some of these, right? Like, let's see here. Let's see here. First of all, first of all, this guy, Isaac Clark. I'm gonna zoom in here. Isaac Clark. Wow, that looks like shit, and I have seen shit like your mom's face, but this editing is uglier than your mom. I, see, now, there's, there's several problems with this. The first one is, I don't think you know what my mom looks like, bro. And second of all, that I second of all I don't really think you got the point here <laughs> and then we've of course got other ones like sorry but this was fake and gay solid dude what is this 2010 is this Ray William Johnson all over again I you know, that was my lame attempt at a joke. But anyway, then you got people like Victorian DK and bless your soul, sir. It was an April Fool's joke because I guess James Akel really did seem to understand that. Anyway, so, but that being said, and moving on to further topics here. Well, not really further topics. This is more hate comments, but still, there's there's quite a few ones on this that are that are frame worthy. Like, like I'm talking like I will print comments like these out and frame them on the wall of stupid. Holy shit, that's an actual genius idea. That's a genius idea. I'm totally doing that. <laughs> There's this guy, the Game Master. You better be sorry. Uh, uh, believe me, Game Master. I want to just sincerely let you know that I'm really not. But I saw the date it was posted in the middle of the video. Douchebag. Well. I'll be closer to a vagina if I'm a douchebag than you will ever will. And then there's, there's just, there's just 
fuck you. <laughs> like, just straight up, just fuck you. And I thank you, thank you. Like, at least, at least he didn't be an idiot about it and was like, wow, I really thought this was real. He was just like, you know what, fuck this guy. He just wasted 10 minutes of my time. I don't blame me, man. I really don't. I would have probably been pretty pissed too. <laughs> but then, <laughs> then you have Christy Miller. Dude, untrue. He just edited in Magirna over Rayquaza and edited the, in the game. I am not an idiot. Please, tell me more about how smart you are. And then this is just by far my favorite comment on the video, like wholeheartedly. Uh, this is my this is my favorite comment. Why are so many people disliking this video? It's not Jason's fault you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not calling people idiots, and I'm not agreeing with that part of it, but I do have to say, I do agree with this point in some ways. I'm I'm sorry, but like you know, like, I get it, right, okay? I made this video in, in in the same kind of fashion that any other YouTuber would make an April Fool's video and make it seem a little bit just like, yeah, this might be something I want to click, okay? I'll admit to that, sure, but everybody does it on April Fool's. I, that's not something that's, like, a new trend or something that I've only done. There's, dude, there's so many people who do worse things than that. I don't even want to get into that, but the point is, the point of this is that it was supposed to be clearly a joke. But I get I guess I just did not do good enough of a job. That that's for sure. Or Jason, I restarted my game because of this. Why? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like I, I really hope he's trolling. I really hope he's not serious. I just find that the like just so funny. Like I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I maybe I'm an asshole for this. I, I'm sorry, like truthfully, if I really pissed anybody off with this. But I just can't stop laughing about how ridiculous it is that some people like just don't even take the time to really think about what they're watching Like it's re it really really re it re oh, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description It reminds me it reminds me of this one commercial that used to show on television It's some of you may have seen it But it's like it was this one commercial that was supposed to be like a PSA for kids to not believe everything They watch on television and it started off with this advertisement about these things called Called house hippos and they were these little tiny hippos that lived and nested inside of your house and shit and like they come out during the night and eat your food and they like peanut butter this this that and that. I don't even can't even remember the whole commercial whatever but the point is is it exited out of the commercial and the outro by saying these don't actually exist don't believe everything you see on television and it looked sort of actually pretty convincing as a kid like if a kid was watching that it looked pretty convincing but I mean, really, when you think about it, when you really think about it, you know, it's, and not everything's what it sees. But again, I'm sorry if it was misleading to some people. I just find it funny that some people really, really, really did not take the time to think about this. And more importantly, did not watch the whole video. I mean, if it's just me, right? If I'm watching a tutorial, I'll usually watch the video first before I watch the tutorial to go along with it. Because usually, you know, sometimes it may not go right if you're doing it along with it, you know, because stuff like that happens. Oh, look at that. We have a new comment. You stupid freaking piece of crap. I will never sub you. Cool, man. Thank you, Joe. Even though it was April Fool's video, it was a great video. Thank you, man. That's the kind of comment I'm looking for. Someone who isn't salty about it and can actually take a joke. <laughs> Starving children in Africa could have eaten this Pokemon. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? Now, this was one of my favorite comments on this video. This was actually, no, like, hands down, my one of my favorite comments I've gotten of all time. Damn, retard, you know how to be a hoe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take those, those words that he just used, and we're gonna run a Google definition search of those words. Okay, let's start off with retard. So that's what he's calling me. He's calling me a retard. Delay or hold back in terms of progress, development, or accomplishment. Now, I want to just say, first of all, that's not a very nice thing to go around calling people because, you know, there are some people out there that can't really help if they have, you know, some kind of mental disability or something along those lines. So, you know, that's not a very nice thing to go around saying to people. And I am not, so, but, but thank you. And let's also go around and uh, type in ho. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, I guess oh, that's that's how much of a like a ghetto term the word hoe is because it's it's not even on regular definition. You know, is it actually? 
yeah, no, it, it's literally, it's literally only gives you the definition for a fucking garden tool. <laughs> All right, let's go to Urban Dictionary. A skank, a woman that is too loose in the booty. <laughs> I can't even read that without dying, dude. A woman or man that, okay, a promiscuous person. Yeah, man, I was being real promiscuous with Magirna. Right, let's see here, what else do we got here? We have... Hey, I did all the things you said and only Rayquaza appears my game is bro- Nope. Nope. I'm done. I'm fucking done. So yeah, that's that. I don't really know how many more comments there are on this video because truthfully, I have not honestly gone through all of them and I, I'm not even sure if I want to at this point because there's some that are just questionable. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you wanted, I don't know, maybe see like more comments or more, more comments, what more videos like this in the future where I read people's comments because dude, I get a surprising amount of hate comments on different videos. You know, th not often. And when I get a video like this every now and again, it happens. But I mean, not very often do I get hate comments. But I have gotten some pretty interesting comments before So maybe if you want to see something like this again in the future We can do that But with that I'm going to get on out of here now Thank you guys so much for watching And I'll catch you all in the next one I really figure out the meaning behind it And people started making jokes like Oh now they've ran out of gems and minerals to use So let's move on to more colors again But this time put it all together Wait, 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 wait What did I just say? What did I just Amoris say? Or Amoris or a Amora or a Aurora Borealis. Whatever the f whatever the <gasps> Oh, I bet you never do that again, bud. Yo, I don't know if I trust staying in against this thing.